All right. There's something I did forget when it comes to the the Danish flint. Okay. There's something that came in the box. Not just these wonderful pieces that I already napped. But there's some artifacts. I didn't get to show them because the battery died on the video with the Danish flint. And I didn't get to show these. That's not a good view. Let's get a better view. Yeah, like that. So what are they? Well, it looks like either a drill or a knife. Yeah, it can be a knife, believe it or not. Let me take my gloves off so I can see how sharp they are. This one it has some use wear on it. Yep. Especially up here. It's not sharp. It's kind of jagged. It looks like it's been well used. It can still be used to cut. Yep. It's still usable as a knife. I don't know if I would use it as a drill. It doesn't look symmetrical enough. It looks like a knife that's worn down to nothing. Just about. This one was hidden in the packaging. And it looks like they were trying to make a preform out of it. I don't think it's an end scraper because it doesn't have the scraper look to it. With a scraper look, you get regular flakes not this crushing stuff so this looks like a preform or a side scraper it could be a side scraper this side is dull a little bit this side is sharper it's hard to tell this this got some dullness right here it's hard to tell with these because sometimes these are used as saws to saw through material like rawhide and you just have a little piece of flint and you just keep scoring the rawhide until eventually it'll cut through the rawhide. You know what I mean? The tip is not well polished or ground down. It's still got a little bit of sharpness to it. So it's either a preform for something or a side scraper, what they call it, a side scraper. And... Um, Looks like this is worn a little bit, but it's still fairly, fairly sharp. Yeah. It wasn't totally exhausted. This one's just a flake. Yeah. Nice material looks like. This one, this one could be a scraper, an end scraper. But this side looks like it's been worked quite a bit. So I don't know. It was either trimmed with a hammerstone, maybe, trimmed to that shape, or it was used as a tool in this shape for something. But it looks very jaggedy, like it was not a tool, but just someone just shaped it into this triangle and probably stashed it this way for later use maybe to uh, maybe to make an end scraper later on it's a doodle right now or a preform for something it doesn't have any use on the tip here if it has use wear on tips they're usually they usually feel polished this is nowhere near feeling polished it's all broken. Now, it could have been broken after it was used heavily for something. Like you can scribe on a cave wall or something or, you know, scribe on a tree with scribers to write a little design. Maybe not to write, but to draw a little design on either stone, like limestone or sandstone. You can, you know, score it. And make designs or on wood, either way, and then break the tip off while you're doing it, and then go, oh no. 
Hey, can you sharpen this again? Yeah, just put it down. I'll get to it eventually. And uh, never got back to it. Yeah, it feels like it's been ground down a little bit all the way around. It's not sharp. Well, maybe right here is a little bit of sharpness there. Might have had a little ding, a recent ding. But everywhere else, it's kind of dull. So I could hold it like this without cutting myself easily. Yeah. So if I were to use it, if I were to need a, a scriber, that would fit perfect. Fit the bill perfectly. Just to scribe into stone to make a design or something. And yeah, you need flint for that because it's extremely hard. And it's easy to nap into this shape so you can scribe with it. Yeah, it does break, but, you know, it's easy to shape, and it's nice and hard, and you can scribe with it. Now, I don't know if that's what they used it for. Who knows? Let me see. Let me see. Hold on. Sometimes the, the use is right in front of you, and you never notice until you actually try it. It might be a burnisher. All right, see how this is dull? It's dull. Let's see if this is a burnisher. And it works to shine it up. Yeah, it got shiny. See that? So this feels like it might be a burnisher. Right there on that side. Why are burnishers useful? Because it makes everything smooth. Yeah. Well, you don't have to sand it. And the flint is excellent as a burnisher. Like I said, it's very hard. And you can easily take advantage of a shape by just napping around it. So that might be a burnishing tool. You can burnish needles for sewing. You burnish arrows. Anything that needs to be smoothed down that's cylindrical and it matches the contour or closely matches this contour. See that? How it's dished out? And it won't wear out. Okay? Another type of burnisher might wear out, like an antler or something like that. Or your dog might eat it. But this, the dog won't eat this. And you can burnish all day long and this will never wear out. Okay, so there's two uses. Maybe it's used for more than that. Maybe it's used for none of that. Or maybe it's used for a combination of different things. Yeah. I would use it as a burnisher. And a scriber. To scribe into stone or something. Or wood. Yeah. It does look like it's been battered. See that? It looks like it's been battered. Like someone went ting, 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 ting. Yeah, it made exactly that noise too. It looks like impact fracturing there. So someone was going ting, 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 ting. Maybe a little kid. Yeah. This whole side feels smooth. I can easily see it as a burnisher. These ridges, they're all smoothed down. Yeah. All right. Okay. In contrast to this, this is smoothed also, but not as smooth as this one. There's lots of little flakes taken off. I don't know if this is heat treats, heat treated or not. It looks like a heat treat, but you never know. None of the stuff, well, maybe some of the stuff in here is similar. Let's see. If I heat treat some of this, maybe it will start looking. Maybe it will look like this after heat treatment. Maybe this will look like this. 
after Heaty Treaty. You know, slick. Or if I take a chip off, is it going to get dull like this? I don't want to take a chip off of it. Or do I? I kind of do. It looks like the same stuff. Where's the... I thought I had a lighter piece. Where is it? I don't know. Anyway, there you go. I just wanted to share those. These are cool. And these are from Denmark, I believe. Okay? In case I didn't mention it, or if I forgot to put it in the title, this looks like it has a possibly a worked edge, but it's not that sharp. So it just feels like a preform or just a flake set aside to be napped later. Like what I do. I set these aside. If it's a general shape that I need, I will set it aside. Even though it might look worked here, the napper might have just napped off the delicate parts for storage. Yeah. Doesn't have to actually be used for anything if you see some chipping. It's not necessarily used for anything. Now, this could be recent chipping and not old chipping. So this might not be an old artifact, just an old chip, an old flake that uh, Matthias might have chipped on it a little bit or someone else. Who knows? It's hard to tell. There's no patina on the, this edge, so it looks new. It looks newly chipped. But you never know. Sometimes... These, these flakes are found in different at a different time period than the original flake. And uh, they chipped a little bit off just to see if it was good stuff and they kept it. Or maybe they discarded it. I don't know. All right. Let's see. I don't know why I kept this. I wonder if this was part of the regular flakes. Yeah, so I'll just put these three in the snapshot, in the thumbnail. All right, there you go. That's it.